Yep, you see my screen? Oh. Okay. Hello to the TOC meeting on 12th of September. We have the usual agenda today uh, without any uh, update from uh, working group. So we have to review action items, review PR, any other business. Uh, let's start with uh, reviewing the action items from last week. Um, there was one action item last week. Um, I can increase a little bit so everyone can see better. Um, we had a discussion about uh, introducing push protection uh, uh, for secrets uh, to our repositories, public repositories in uh, our Cloud Foundry organization, GitHub Cloud Foundry organization. And we decided to start a discussion on this in our TOC Slack channel. So I uh, triggered the discussion. The link is here. We got some feedback. Um, yeah. So we did, we want to uh, how useful is this. That's why we uh, decided to collect some feedback before we put any effort into this. I think most probably we'll want to wait a little bit till people uh, can come back from vacation before we do something here. Okay, I see agreement. <laughs> we can then jump into the uh, reviewing PRs. Um, so the first one is a new discussion triggered by Greg, uh, this is about to uh, clarify, make it more clear how reviewers uh, are promoted and uh, the promotion documentation we have approval and review promotion in our uh, community repository. Did you have a chance to look through this? Any comments? That don't look good. This is how my working group works today. So that matches. Ruben, I assume yours as well. Yes. Yeah. I also looked through it and I also don't have any comments. Um, thank you. And Approve it. You have three approvals. I can go and merge it. Uh, I can also take it branch. Great. Uh, and the next one is uh, the RFC. Amelia, you started about. Yeah, Greg. Yeah, yeah, Greg opened a comment and was like, what if we made this even simpler? Instead of just saying the TOC in a working group lead's absence, like the TOC can stand in for a working group lead when they're out. Just say the TOC on their discretion can make the, any decision that a working group lead would make. So we don't have to define absence. And I love giving myself even more power. So I'm pro. I haven't changed the doc though. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Behad, you also agreed. Thought it was good. So I'll yeah, make that change right. and maybe next week we'll merge. Hopefully nothing urgent will come up in the meantime. <laughs> okay, great. Ruben, do you? No, I, I think uh, more power is always better, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, seems like that. Um, okay, we have here an agreement. Uh, we can wait. Uh,
Okay, then we can proceed to any other business if you don't have any other PRs for discussion. I didn't say anything else in our community repository. Okay, uh, I, I added the topic here. I was actually uh, walking. I got the question uh, whether the RFC for introducing the new uh, readiness health check is implemented already. I was looking into the details and found out that it's already implemented and also the documentation is there. And I uh, was thinking whether it makes sense to mention that it's supported since the later version of uh, Cloud Foundry or not. Um, I also was looking through the docs and we don't mention often that something is supported uh, with the later version of uh, Cloud Foundry. Most of the time we are mentioning CF API, so Cloud Foundry CLI versions. I don't know what is your opinion yeah. on that. I, I would like to stick with component versions because like CF deployment is not like uh, consumed by VMware. I mean, maybe that's not a good reason, but like for uh, people that use CF using the, our distributions, they do know about component versions. They don't know about like how that maps to a CF deployment version. So if it is a feature that was um, part of a, I mean, it, it was shipped as part of, um, Cloud controller, right? Or was there a dependency? There's Wasn't dependencies Diego. on Diego. I see. That complicates things. And yeah. maybe other things, but definitely Diego. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The FCLI made also some. Uh, In the future, that see, we've we've released part future. of it, not all of it. Yeah, it's gonna be a. <laughs> um, Behan, what does SAP do? Do you consume CFD, or do you consume? Yes. Directly, yes. like, do you ever go in and you're like, no, we're just going to bump Cappy or something like that? Uh, we have our internal versioning for CF, but we consume CF boy and, um, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I have to check out, but I think we are not seeing the CF deployment version in our release notes, which is, has been introduced. I have to check on this. I'm not completely sure. This kind of versioning is almost impossible to maintain. So the only way I'd want to put it in is if we put in as a version, blah, blah, it works. And then that's never out of date, right? It's mm -hmm. That's the most I'd want to do in a place like this. But I mean, that yeah. does sound like useful information. Yeah, definitely. We, we have that for the Bosch director for a lot of features where it says like from this director version onwards, it's supported. Um, yeah. So, and, but then even if multiple components are involved, calling that out in docs is still useful, right? Like knowing that you need all these three components to be on a version greater than that. Um, it's, it's actually useful because there's no other way to easily find that. Um, yeah. If we have the details information, I'd like to capture the detailed information and not um, abstracting it away in a CF deployment version. Sure. You can assign this to me and I'll um, pull the correct versions and update the doc. This is a good call. Thank you. Yeah, I, I uh, noticed this because in Bosch, we all, as Ruben mentioned, they always mention the version system. I think it's no, supported. <laughs> Yeah. And, and then we have docs PRs that stay open for a while because we haven't released the thing yet. Mm -hmm. It's always like checking in. Can we now merge it? Has it been released? No, it has not. Oh, it was broken. It's, but yeah, it's a whole thing. But it is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm fine when people can then in the community uh, can uh, find out uh, which version includes the um, changes. This is fine. 
would make yeah. I mean, like uh, having a, a note in CF deployment saying that it is supported makes sense, right? Like that's the release notes thing. But in the docs, I would only want to document component minimum component versions. Yeah. 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 Sounds cool. Makes sense to me. Okay. Can you just assign me on this? Oh, uh, you mentioned yes. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, yeah. At the very least, I'll get Anita the correct versions, and you can decide mm -hmm. the best place to add them. Yeah. Sounds good. Um. Yeah, I suppose we could have announced readiness health checks. We haven't quite yet because it's like, you know, there's all this stuff and we're just slowly getting it out. So uh, some of it's available. <laughs> Maybe I'll post something in Slack today. Okay. I don't know whether we need to somehow um, make this consistent through the docs uh, to. This is a cross cutting concern, I think, uh, but uh, an RFC will be too much, most probably. <laughs> it's it's a difficult. You can propose something, but how yes. do you make people aware and how do you enforce the thing? Uh, we do have yeah. a docs working group, though, right? Yes, we have a need. Yeah. Yes, yeah. All of me. Yeah. 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 The problem is going back. Like, it's great going forward, but retrofitting also is just about impossible no, I, yeah I, well at some point some of the features have been around so long no one would be using something that old so it doesn't matter it's just yeah. available yeah. yeah talking about new working group uh, we have here um, um, uh, working group updates so from time to time the working groups are giving updates to the tuc and we have a schedule. Um, so I will add also the uh, uh, document working group here. And it, uh, yeah. It's a new one. We don't have it now in our list, but I will extend the, uh, then the, uh, our TUC box. For your information. Uh, Is it okay? Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. And uh, maybe last topic or uh, update is uh, uh, for the next week, I will schedule an update from the application runtime interface working group. So it is the working group uh, with the, uh, yeah which it's on the next on the schedule. Do we have anything else? I have a question. We're going to have the first docs working group meeting on Thursday. Do people just show up based on the CFF calendar or are there people I should be inviting particularly or how does that work? When I hold my working groups, I have a working group channel in Slack and I always post like 30 minutes before the day before that's like, by the way, the meeting's tomorrow. If anyone's interested, okay. feel free to join. That's the only inviting I do. Okay. Sounds good. I and I'll have Ben finish. come because he builds the, the CF docs. So I think we'll need him. And the foundation infrastructure working group is so popular that people just are waiting in line for it. Uh, yeah, no. And from not, time to time, we, we have more than 10 people. It's... Yeah, that was a record. <laughs> <laughs> During the vacation, we also had to cancel a few because nobody was showing up. Um, yeah, I don't expect a lot of excitement in the docs working group. Yeah, but we have also only the uh, entry in the community calendar. Yes. Um, we... I'll get to update, add some updates in the Slack channel that we had the meeting, actually. <laughs> but also the calls get recorded and some people watch them on YouTube. Yeah, yeah I don't think I ours- Maybe it's I bots, I don't know. 
Crash at least some shows no, online. It's true. I asked Chris not to put ours on YouTube because they'll be so boring. But they will be recorded, yes. You may think they're boring, but when I was trying to be a contributor to Golang, Golang doesn't have a, an, any of this <laughs> open source stuff. Like they're all controlled by Google, just the code's open source. And so I was very sad not to have any community meetings to go to. Good. Good. It'll get better as we get going. Anything else? Um, I verified the VIPs token we got from Canonical. So that's all wor working. So we're ready to go build a VIPs stem cell, I think, by the end of the month. Like, we should have all the dependencies in order. Then it's just a matter of prioritizing the work to do it. Um, so yeah, that will, is for Jemmy, uh, VIPs testing with Jemmy stem cells. Um, is this, is this at the first time POC to check whether everything will work? Well, because we were also talking about an RFC. Uh, yeah, so. I know. I haven't gotten around to creating that. Um, but I mean, like, we, we need a stem cell first, right? So then the RFC will be about, like, using it to test components as well as CF deployment. Um, so this is about to try to build the FIP stem cell in the community. Yes. So that's basically just foundational infrastructure working group. Right, like that is concerned with that. And once we have that, we can start talking about like where we want to use it. Um, if com component teams want to start running integration or not uh, unit tests or things using FIPS on Docker, that could also be done, but we probably have to discuss that also uh, later down the road. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything, anything else? And thank you for the attention. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, take care. See you next time. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye.